Hello guys, this is Code and Code, and this is a video editorial for this problem single number second taken from lead code. The problem is from bit manipulation uh, category and also is a medium one. So the problem is we are given a non empty array of integers where each number uh, appear exactly three times except one. So there are numbers. Uh, mostly except one that is uh, except a single integer the rest appear exactly three times so we have to tell what what integer is appearing exactly one time so if we take an example then we can see this is the array and the answer is three because three is appearing only single time while the rest of the elements like two appearing three times eight is appearing three times five is appearing three times so except three everyone else is appearing three times so we have to print three because this is a unique element this is appearing exactly one time so what is the approach to solve this problem see uh, since we are working with bit manipulation so again uh, it makes sense to look at the bit level of the numbers and work there so if you observe one thing uh, this is the bit representation of each number written here right so see uh, let's let's just let's look at this observation first then we would uh, confirm it from here so let x be our intended solution this is the integer which is appearing exactly one time right and f of i be the number of element in which the ith bit is set so basically f of i is the frequency of the element whose uh, ith bit is set now the claim is if ith bit is set in x then f of i would be of the form 3n plus 1 where n is an integer from uh, any positive integer or oh, sorry not positive uh, non-negative because n can be 0 as well so what is this basically what it says that if uh, if there is uh, suppose the ith bit in x x is our solution remember so ith bit in x is set so because of x uh, there would be one frequency right and if uh, some other element uh, if the ith bit in some other element is also set then that would contribute 3 into the frequency of i why because if uh, say in 5 the ith bit is set say the uh, the zeroth bit zeroth bit in 5 we know is set then uh, f of 0 would be incremented by 3 because there are three fives in each five the zeroth bit is set so the f of 0 would increment by 3 each time right so uh, f of i is always divisible by 0 unless the ith bit is also set in our result in that case it would be 3n plus 1 because uh, if the ith bit is set in uh, our result or x then what would happen it would increment only 1 the rest would increment 3 in f of i so if i explain it by an example so see this is the bit representation of each number and we know the result is 3 and in 3 the 0th and the first bit is set so our claim is that 0th and and the first bit the the frequency f of 0 and f of 1 would be of the form 3n plus 1 so let's calculate f of 0 f of 0 means the number of elements in which the 0th bit is set so we see 1 2 3 4 and 5 there are 5 elements oh just let me confirm it 1 2 3 sorry this is 8 this is oh sorry 1 triple 0 this is this is not 1 here this is 0 uh, i made a mistake uh, so this is one triple zero we won't count this so one two three and four there are four numbers which are having the zero bit set which are five 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 and three three because in our result also the zero bit is set that is why we would get the result in form of three n plus one and four is equal to three into one plus one which is of this form right now first bit first bit in our result is also set so the first bit, uh, f of 1 would also be of the form of 3n plus 1 so if you see 1 2 3 and 4 and 2 2 
3 and 2 because in 2 the first bit it uh, first bit is set so in f of 1 2 would contribute uh, 3 times f of 1 would be incremented by 3 because of 2 because 3 is appearing 3 times but our result is appearing only one time that is why it would increment extra one in fact f of 5 for every single bit would be multiple of 3 except for those bits which are also set in x because the rest bit would uh, increment f by 3 but our result would increment uh, f by 1 only so that is why 0th and the first bit would be of the form 3n plus 1 frequency of 0 and 1 would be uh, of the form 3n plus 1 because 3 binary representation of 3 contains 1 bit at 0 and first position for the rest of the bits for 1 2 and so on for the rest of the bits it would be only 3n so you see uh, second bit is 1 2 3 3 times fourth bit is 3 times it can also be 0th time doesn't matter so what we have to do we would construct our result from from frequency frequency array so first thing we would do is calculate the frequency array after that at each position we would see whether f of i modulo 3 is equal to 1 or not see if f of i is of the form of, of this form then it indicates that this bit the ith bit is also set in our result right so if if f of i is of this form which means f of i modulo 3 is equal to 1 because 3 n plus 1 if you take modulo by 3 the resultant would be 1 so if f of i modulo 3 is equal to 1 which indicates i at bit is set in a result so uh, we would uh, increment the result by 2 raised to power i we would initialize result with 0 and if the i at bit is set we would keep incrementing the result by 2 raised to power i so this is how we would uh, find our result x so let's jump into the code editor n is equals to i hope this is visible let me create an extra space so n is equals to i like to call it ar doesn't so ar dot size we'll take vector of int let's call it v doesn't matter uh, since there are 32 bits because we are working with int which is 32 bit integer initialize everything with zero so v is a uh, v is an array with 32 elements in it each initialized with zero oh since this is a frequency array let's call it f now for each element each element e in array we would see whether the ith bit is set or not if the ith bit is set then what, what we would do f of i would increment uh, we would increment the f, uh, f of i so we would run a loop from 0 to less than 32 if the ith bit is set just let me create some space if ith bit is set how you you do that you take and operation of e with one left shifted i times i have explained how to calculate how to see whether the ith bit is set or not in in a binary, binary representation of an integer uh, in my bit manipulation series so if you have no idea just go and watch that series first so if the ith bit is set then f of i plus plus and that's all i guess so for each number in our in our array ar which is the input we are taking each number and if the ith bit in that number is set then uh, of course frequency of i would increment right so finally result is equals to 0 and now we would build our result so from 0 to 31st bit if f of i modulo 3 is equals to 1 which indicates ith bit in result is set so if ith bit is set which means we have to increment result by 2 raised to power i and this is 2 raised to power i finally return result so let's run and test and see how many errors do we get okay that's strange
okay so uh, it is strange that in first try compilation was successful as well as the result so we see that this is how we solve this problem so if you are having any problem understanding this just take some examples take uh, on your pen and paper try to solve them because the more you use your pen and paper believe me the more you learn it's not like you are just watching video and you would understand no that is not how learning goes it is important for you to use your head and for that you have to use your pen and paper just take some examples and try to understand what i was trying to say so if you still have any query just post it down in the comments and thank you guys for watching this was all for this lecture till the next video drops keep coding thank you